sorry, let me just uh, get this uh, out of the way. It's, uh, it's not what it looks like, I promise you. So I use that, because I film on my own, I use that to be able to put in place of where I'm gonna sit and I can set my lighting up and whatnot, get my exposure value sorted, ready for the shot. So it's a top little tip at the start of the video already for you. But anyway, the iPhone 15 Pro Max has just literally been released not that long ago, and it's got the ability to shoot up to 4K, 60 FPS, in Apple Log, ProRes, to an external drive. I know that sounds like a lot, but you can actually do this with your Android device itself. Now, what are some of the benefits of being able to shoot to a, an external drive? Well, number one is transferring files. That's, that is the main one, because transferring files over to your computer, it can take forever to get them off your phone and get them on your computer. When you're starting to shoot in stuff like ProRes at 10 bit and higher megabits per second, those file sizes go from being, you know, 100 to 200 megabytes to becoming 10 to 15 gigabytes. So they become absolutely huge. And obviously getting files off the iPhone before was an absolute nightmare. So slow, so time consuming, and it was really painful. So it's glad to see that Apple have actually brought that out now for their devices. So when it comes to Android, what are your options? Now, depending on what device you got, you could potentially have an SD card slot built into the device itself. But a lot of the flagship devices that are coming out now are doing away with the SD card, going for dual SIM trays. So you've not really got that possibility anymore. So what else can you do? Well, you can shoot directly to an external drive. So I'm using a Samsung T7 drive. It's a USB-C drive, very small, robust, portable, great read and write speeds connect straight into the phone, no problems whatsoever, and I'm recording directly to that drive. Now, how am I going about doing this? Well, I'm actually using an app called MC Pro 24 FPS. Again, bit of a mouthful, but this app's designed specifically for Android devices. It's going to work better the higher end device you've got, and depending on what device you've got, depends on what works and what doesn't, if you know what I mean. And the phone that I'm filming on now is the Xiaomi 13 Ultra. This, oh, this is such a good phone. I'm gonna do a video on this phone in itself because it's really awesome. Now I've got the phone in beast cage. Uh, I've got a 1.7X telephoto lens connected to it to get more of a punched in shot. Give me a little bit of that background blur in the background there so it looks quite nice. And I've got a whole contraption up here um, set up. So let me know in the comment section if you'd like to see a video just basically on the setup that I've got with the device itself. But getting back to filming with external drives, in MC Pro 24 FPS, if you hit the settings button and you go down to the bottom there, you'll see it will say internal storage. And if you've got an external drive connected, you'll be able to click on that external drive and then record directly to that. The main benefit is because of the file sizes. So using MC Pro 24 FPS, the current scene, the current way that I'm filming, the settings that I've got is that I'm shooting in Sony's S gamut in their S log profile. And I'm shooting directly to an external drive in 4K at 150 megabits per second. So the file sizes we are up to, so I've been talking for four minutes and we've just gone over four gigabytes. So again, file size is not massive, massive, but still big, four gigs, and I've still not finished the video. Uh, you know, transferring that over will take time. And if I've shot a load of other clips as well, that's also gonna take time. But honestly, it's, it's really pretty simple in terms of connecting the drive up to the device. Once it's plugged in, your device will recognize it. You open the app up, hit the settings button, go down, choose the external drive that you've got connected, and the files will be recorded directly to that drive which in turn means that once you've finished recording, you unplug the drive, plug it into your computer, and you can start editing those files straight away in your editor of choice directly from that drive, which is absolutely amazing because I don't have to wait anymore for transferring files over to my computer. So pretty simple, easy to do. Let me know again in the comments if you wanna see more on this setup or if you've got any questions about MC Pro 24 FPS, let me know and I'll do a video on it. But again, thank you so much for watching. Hope this helps some of you out there and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Take care, peace.